happy morning students welcome to grade 10 mathematics class today we are going to learn the same exercise exercise 3.14 there are two more problems after finishing that today we are going to learn we are going to draw practical geometry okay get ready with your practical geometry note you can take 100 pages long size plain note okay after completing the two problems in algebra today we need to draw practical geometry problems okay listen dear students exercise 3.14 fifth problem if one root of the equation one equation is given is twice the other then find the values of a okay uh, first we need to write the quadratic equation given equation 2y square minus a y plus 64 equal to 0. So here, what is the value of a? A is equal to 2. What is the value of b? B is equal to minus a. What is the value of c? C is the constant term. So here, 64. Actually, a quadratic equation has how many roots? A quadratic equation has two roots. So here, what is the hint given? If one root of the equation is twice the other what is the meaning of twice twice means two times okay let the roots are one root if i take alpha means what will be the other root twice the other so two alpha got it normally equation quadratic equation has two roots only alpha and beta normally we can take so here the question itself they given if one root of the equation is twice the other so first root if we select alpha means what we need to select the second root twice the other we need to select uh, two times of the other so two times of alpha that's all so here we need to find the values of a here one unknown is given no 2x square and coefficient of y is one unknown that is a that a value we need to find okay first sum of the roots we can write sum of the roots What is the formula for sum of the roots? Alpha plus beta equal to minus b by a. Here the roots are alpha plus two alpha equal to what is the formula? Minus b by a. So minus of what is the value of b? Minus a by what is the value of a? Two. So minus and minus cancel. Here alpha plus two alpha that is three alpha. So three alpha is equal to minus and minus plus. So a by two. Okay, let it be. Mark it as first equation. Then we can find the product of the roots. So product of the roots. Product means we need to multiply. So alpha into two alpha, which is equal to c by a. The normal formula is c by a, which is equal to c means sixty four here divided by a here two. So here two into alpha into alpha alpha square. So we can cancel this. Thirty-two will get. So two into alpha square is equal to thirty-two. So alpha square is equal to thirty-two divided by two. While canceling, we are getting sixteen. So alpha gets the two values. Alpha square is equal to sixteen means alpha is equal to plus or minus four. So two cases are cases. In first case and second case. Okay, let's see case one. When Alpha is equal to four. What is the first equation? We need to find the value of y only. So first equation implies the so first equation three alpha is equal to y by two. In the place of alpha, we need to substitute this four. So three into four, which is equal to a by two. So twelve is equal to a by two. So a is equal to while cross multiplying, we are getting twenty four. Question itself say find the values of y. So y getting More than one value, so only they given plural. So here a is equal to twenty four. What is the case two? When alpha is equal to here two roots. Listen, alpha is equal to plus or minus four. For plus four one case and minus four another case. So alpha is equal to now minus four. So what is the first equation? Three alpha is equal to a by two. So three into alpha meaning minus four, which is equal to a by two. So minus twelve is equal to a by two. So a is equal to and cross multiplying we are getting minus twenty four. 
so what are the values of a the values are a is equal to 24 comma minus 24 that's all okay listen dear students question number 6 This is the last question in exercise three point fourteen. Okay, if one root of the equation, the equation is given. First, we can write the equation. Given equation, three x square plus k x plus eighty one is equal to zero. So, what are the values of a, b, c here? Here, a is equal to three. B is equal to k. C is equal to eighty one. A means coefficient of x square. B means coefficient of x. C means constant term. Okay. So what is the hint given? Normally, equation quadratic equation has two roots, alpha and beta. And here the hint is given. One root of the equation is square of the other. The previous problem twice the other. So alpha and two alpha we took. Here is the square of the other. What is the meaning of square of the other? Let the roots are. One alpha, one root alpha means what will be the other root square of the other? The square of alpha is alpha square. That's all. So please uh, listen, understand the meaning here. Square. So the next root is alpha square. Here twice. So the next root is two alpha. That's the difference. Then or normal method only. What is the sum of the roots? Alpha plus beta. Alpha plus here alpha square is equal to minus b by a. So in the place of b we need to replace it by k by three. So alpha plus alpha square we cannot add no. So alpha plus alpha square let it be. Alpha into alpha square only alpha cube here alpha and alpha square we cannot add so let it. Be. Then first equation. After that product of the roots. Product of the roots. Is the product of the root alpha into alpha square product? What is the formula? C by a, which is equal to C here eighty one by three. So eighty one will cancelling two times and twenty seven it will come correct. So alpha into alpha square that is alpha cube. So from here we can find the values of alpha. Alpha cube is equal to twenty seven is the cube of three. So three cube. So power is same means base also. Same. So alpha is equal to three. Alpha value we got. But in the question we need to find the value of k only. So we can use the first equation to solve. Now first equation is equal to implies alpha plus alpha square is equal to minus k by three. So alpha here three plus three the whole square is equal to minus k by three. So three plus here three square is nine. It is equal to minus k by three. Nine plus three, that is twelve, which is equal to minus k by three. So, what is the final answer? Minus k by three is equal to twelve. When cross multiplying, minus k equal to thirty-six. So, k is equal to minus thirty-six. So, what is the value of k? We need to find the value of k, no? So, k value is minus thirty-six. That's all. Uh, third chapter up to three point fourteen, we completed. Now listen, dear students. Now you can take your textbook and turn to the page number one hundred and sixty-one. That is fourth chapter geometry. And here, first theoretical geometry is given. You need to turn to the page of one hundred and sixty-nine. There only practical geometry starts. So construction of similar triangles. So practical geometry note you need to take. You can take one hundred pages long size plain note. Okay. So we can start from it. So this is the first practical geometry for you in fourth chapter. This is a construction of similar triangles. This is the first one. There are two examples. Example four point ten and four point eleven, and there are some uh, problems. Exercise problems ten yes ten to thirteen. Four exercise problems are there. So totally for similar triangles, the practical geometry problems six problems. Four exercise problems and two example problems you need to thorough. Okay, shall we start now? Okay, dear students. Shall we draw the practical geometry now? Okay, take your practical geometry note, separate note, separate long size, hundred pages plain note. Okay, put today's date and write here practical geometry and write the similar triangles. Write the definition: triangles which have same shape but proportional sizes. I will explain now. First, I will give the intro for this. Um, how you need to write? You can use pencil to write. Okay, no need to use pen. 
and geometry note for me you need to write using pencil only okay then take the next page here the format i'm saying in the left side you need to write the question and construction alone the right hand side diagrams rough diagram and a fair diagram this is the format okay here after for all the problems we are going to draw like this only first here construction of similar triangles put the heading then write example 4.10 question which is in page number 169 okay then construction you need to copy with the help of the textbook and here rough diagram and fair diagram for all the problems we are going to follow this format only okay dear students okay let's come to the topic what is the meaning of similar triangles before that what is the meaning of similar objects here see in your textbook which is in page number 162 here one house picture is given correct this is the um, here see one two uh, mobile phones are given and this is small size and this is of big size but both the pictures are same only same picture but in different sizes that is the concept here also same house only the picture is same but the size is different here also see here two clocks are there two clocks showing the same uh, time and uh, here two clocks are same only the same format here also round format here also round format but see the uh, shape that is different shape no here this is small and this is big so these are similar objects here also see the cylinder gas cylinder this one small this one big so here also same uh, object only same shape only but different sizes different size okay here also mahatma gandhi ji's photo one is in small size one is in big size these are all similar objects normally for the triangle also for similar triangles it has same shape it is the same shape this is also two triangles but not the same size one is the enlargement of the other one should be small and other should be large that is the difference for similar triangles okay got the concept so similar objects means similar object is the same shape this is the two clocks are same shape no but in different sizes that is a similar objects concept similarly for similar triangles it is of same shape but different sizes one is small and one is big so here also we can we are going to construct triangles one small triangle and from that we are going to enlarge it otherwise one big triangle we need to draw we need to reduce that see in your textbook sorry okay so example 4.10 Construct a triangle similar to the given triangle PQR with its sides equal to three fifth of the corresponding sides of the triangle PQR. They will give one scale factor. Based on the scale factor only, we need to draw this. So, what is the scale factor given? Three by five, which is always less than one only. Okay. Shall we start now? Okay. Take your scale and pencil. Okay. For drawing clearly only, I am uh, using sketch pen. so you don't use sketch pen you can use your pencil and scale okay first here listen carefully uh, construct a triangle we are going to construct triangle correct first i am drawing one triangle simply you can draw one triangle okay is it clear first i drawn one triangle and here nearby you need to write always down you can write the scale factor in question itself they will give okay what is the scale factor given 3 by 5 so the in fraction only they will give the fraction contains a numerator as well as a denominator correct so see the numerator this is proper fraction or improper fraction do you know so here the numerator is small number so it is proper fraction so for proper fraction you need to the line like this similar to this line okay like this line this line like this line you need to like uh, draw a slanting line similar to this okay same shape like this don't draw here there don't draw okay the same this slope no this is similar to this line you need to simply one line you need to draw since it is the small number here see PQR is the given triangle. 
here p dash q dash we need to mention so here since it is a small number the p dash and q dash comes inside for larger numbers the p dash and q dash comes outside so first you need to check the letters here p and p q r no so here p and r dash will come so here since it is a small number you need to write here p dash q dash so here normal triangle p q r that's all okay shall we start now for the fat diagram the first step is you need to construct one triangle okay normally with approximate measurement you can construct but here take 6 cm first we are going to draw an equilateral triangle okay equilateral triangle means all the sides are equal so here i am taking 6 cm equilateral triangle so here listen carefully 1 to 6 cm this is 6 <coughs> cm <coughs> and the same thing i am measuring here i am completing this simply put an arc and cut that arc so join this we are getting one equilateral triangle any measurement you can draw but all the problems we are form we are taking on uniformity so without confusion any measurement also you can draw but here this problem i'm taking 6 cm equilateral triangle this is the first step everyone got the point first you need to draw one triangle that is 6 cm don't need to mark this but the letters this is very important p q r got it students and see the next step you need to take your protractor and take your protractor normally we are keeping the protractor like this correct then you need to turn this turn this and put in q take a, any degree which is less than 90 whatever measurement you your wish you can take even 90 degree below 90 degree any one acute angle you need to select from 0 to 90 degree you need to select one acute angle i am selecting here 45 degree as per your wish you can select 40 degree otherwise 50 degree but it uh, cannot exceed 90 degree okay so i am selecting here 45 degree which is an acute angle no okay after that you need to join this got it students okay mark it as x ray that is ray x okay ray x then you need to see the scale factor here what is the biggest number 3 or 5 which is the biggest 5 is the biggest number so 5 arc you need to construct what is the first step you need to draw one triangle here i am taking an equilateral triangle otherwise you can try you can draw a normal triangle also that is also correct okay so here i drawn an equilateral triangle after that reverse your protractor and take any degree less than 90 degree here i am taking 45 degree these are the two steps over the third step is you need to see the scale factor for scale factor 3 and 5 which is the largest number biggest number 5 is the biggest number so you need to take 5 arc listen students we are going to draw the arcs now so i am taking here also approximate measurement you can take here i am taking 1.5 cm i am on 1.5 cm i am going to draw how many arc five arcs because the highest number is the biggest number is five among three and five okay from q i am going to draw five arcs 1 2 3 Three, four, five. Got it? Five arcs over. This arc also approximate measure only. Here I took one point five centimeter. You can take two centimeter. Otherwise, one centimeter also it will come correctly. The diagram is correctly only. If you take one point five centimeter, the diagram looks neat. So only I took one point five centimeter. Here six centimeter equilateral triangle. After that, forty five degree acute angle. otherwise you can change the measurement also no problem and here number of arc is um, you need to correct this 3 and 5 the among 5 is the biggest number so 5 arc you need to put so i'm um, 1.5 cm it is 5 arcs okay you need to name this now we are going to name this since it is q i'm naming this q1 or q1 q2 q3 q4 q5 that's all okay uh, then see the 
scale factor the denominator number you need to select okay what is the denominator number 5 so the fifth arc you need to join the fifth arc you need to join like this this is the fourth step what is the first step drawing equilateral triangle what is the second step taking acute angle any one acute angle 0 to 90 degree any angle you can take and what is the third step uh, drawing arcs drawing arcs means this is the biggest number of the biggest number you need to take and that much of arc you need to draw after that uh, you need to see the denominator the denominator number arc you need to join to the this vertex the end vertex r vertex you need to join okay then listen take your compass and from that or joining arc now you need to draw one small arc with approximate measurement only here for uh, fully the similar triangles approximate measurement only so here in between this 4 and 5 listen carefully in between this 4th arc and 5th arc I am drawing one small arc with approximate measurement only got it students ok don't change this measurement and here 3 no the numerator is 3 denominator line we joined and we drawn the arc so here, here the numerator is 3 ok move to the third arc and with that measurement we are drawing the same arc here also got it ok this, this step over then measure the drawn arc the previous arc you need to measure like this you need to measure ok you need to measure and that measurement you need to cut the arc before that's all the simple step ok now join this this Q and this line ok dear students got it we are going to repeat the same step from this arc we join now and from the uh, denominator part over down part over now we are going to draw the upper part so from this end because the fifth arc is starting here ending here from starting we drawn the arc that um, work over and from here starting ending and ending from here we drawn one approximate arc any one measurement we need to draw like this ok and from this line we need to repeat the arc with the same measurement and what is the work now we need to measure first drawing then measuring so measure the arc this arc we need to measure ok measure this and cut the previous arc the measure you need to measure measure only then you need to cut ok without measurement then you will get the wrong answer so measure this and cut this so now joint That's all the similar triangles. Now we got this triangle which is similar to this triangle. This is the small triangle and this is the big triangle. Small triangle, what is the naming? P dash, Q dash. So this is small triangle and big triangle. Both the triangles are similar. Okay, got it students? This is the correct diagram. Sometimes you will get the diagram like this. I will give one rough work. How you need to check? This end. Sometimes if you get the diagram like this means, listen. The wrong things entering. Listen dear students, this is the wrong diagram. How you need to confirm that your, diag your drawn diagram is correct or wrong. Here see, there is no similarity. The line is like this, no? Here slanting line, but the line is like this. Here we need to draw the line. The line should be come like this. It is correct. So this is wrong. Okay. You need to confirm like this. You need to get the similar triangles. This, this slope means the same slope you also need to get here. So, so after drawing this we can you need to confirm by taking your protractor and here check the angle. Here what is the angle? 60 degree. Since we drawn equilateral triangle no. 60 degree. And in Q dash also you need to check. Q dash also if you are getting 60 degree means the diagram is correct. Down also you can check. Okay. So here I am getting 60 degree. Whatever angle you are getting here the same angle you need to get here. So this is the correct diagram. You need to follow this. Shall we move to the second problem now? Okay. Listen. 
Okay, dear students, listen. Now, exercise 4.1, 10th problem. Okay, construct a triangle similar to the given triangle PQR with its sides equal to 2 by 3 of the corresponding sides of the triangle PQR. The scale factor they given 2 by 3, which is less than 1. Here also proper fraction, so the P dash Q dash comes inside only. Okay, uh, now we are going to draw the rough diagram. First, one triangle, normal triangle. There is no need of any measurement, simply one triangle. Okay. Then mention this is P, Q, R. Okay, mention this is P, Q, R. Okay. Then you can put a line similar to like this. Here one slope, no, that, that way you need to write. Here it should be same. That same line you need to get. So here P dash, Q dash. Why the, the P dash, Q dash comes inside? So here there is proper fraction, no, 2 by 3. That's why I wrote drawn inside. Then... What's the first step? You need to construct one equilateral triangle. This. Otherwise, you can draw one simple triangle. That also enough. But you can follow this. It will be better. So, first 6 centimeter equilateral triangle. Measure this. And from this, you can measure. Draw the arc. Here also. Then join this. First step over. What is the first step? Drawing equilateral triangle of 6 cm. This is the first step of constructing similar triangle. Then take your protractor. Reverse your protractor. Then name this P, Q, R. Okay. Reverse your protractor. Any one acute angle you need to take. Here we are taking 45 degree. 45 degree is an acute angle. No. So I am taking 45 degree on acute angle. And join this. 50 degree also you can take. You will get the correct answer only. Okay, this is X-ray, that is ray X. Okay, got it students? Now see the number 2 by 3, which is the biggest number 2 or 3. 3 is the biggest number. So how many arcs we need to draw? 3 arcs we need to draw. <coughs> okay. With approximate measurement, with one simple measurement. Here I am taking 1.5. Otherwise you can take 2 cm also, you will get correct only. Okay, 3 arc I am going to draw. So first arc. Second arc, third arc, three arcs. Why we drawn three arcs? Here, two and three, three is the biggest number. So, only I drawn three arcs. Got it, students? Now, I am going to mark this, naming this Q1, Q2, Q3. Have you got the concept? Okay. Now, check the denominator. First, number of arc, the highest number you need to draw. Then, you need to check the denominator. What is the denominator number? 3 is the denominator number. Correct? So, third arc you need to join to the triangle. The third arc we need to join to the triangle. It's joined. Okay. Three, uh, four steps over. First step, drawing equilateral triangle. Second step, constructing the acute angle. Third step, drawing arcs. How you need to draw the arcs? By taking the biggest number, you need to draw the arcs. What is the fourth step? You need to join. Which number you need to join? The denominator number only you need to join. Okay. Denominator, whatever number may be there, that number you need to join to the triangle end. End vertex you need to join. Now we are going to or, or, uh, draw arcs. Okay. With approximate measurement, the third arc only joined. No, that joining line. First down we are going to draw in between 2 and 3. In between 2 and 3 we are drawing one simple arc. Got it? Okay. Now check the previous number. Second one. So from second arc we are going to draw the same arc here. Don't change the measurement. Now we need to measure this. See the measurement is not correct. Now we need to adjust. Measure. Want to measure this arc. Got it students? We need to measure this arc and after that measurement we need to cut the previous arc. We need to extend this. Okay. Now need to join. Down portion over. Then up portion the same, the same thing we need to repeat. So, here also from first one simple arc. After that with the same measurement here also. The simple arc with the same measurement. Then you need to measure this arc. This arc we need to measure. 
so here one measurement needed after that with the same measurement we need to draw this arc now join this Okay students, now we are going to check whether this diagram is correct or wrong. Okay, first place your protractor here. In R you need to check 60 degree I am getting the same angle we need to get here. So here also I am getting 60. Okay, so once again I am repeating the first thing, monoculatal triangle of 6 cm. So otherwise you can draw 7 cm, 8 cm, that also correct. Otherwise simply you put on triangle means that also correct. Okay. Here all the problems if you draw following the same form it means you will feel easy. So what I am saying, first drawing an equilateral triangle, after that reverse your protractor and take on any one acute angle. Here all the problems we are taking 45 degree. Taking 45 degree is not compulsory, you can take 50 degree, otherwise 40 degree also you can take. But taking 45 degree means the diagram looks neat. Otherwise if you take small angle means the diagram will shrink and it is not apt for look. That is only I am saying you can take 45 degree. After the number of arc is very very important. Here see 2 and 3 which is the biggest number. 3 is the biggest number. So 3 arc you need to draw. Got it students? 3 arcs you need to draw. After that see the denominator number. What is the number in denominator? 3 is the number in the denominator. So third arc you need to join to the triangle. And from that line you need to construct the first arc. The same arc you need to construct here. Then measure this like this. Using compass you need to measure and cut this. Down portion over. Then up portion. Here this line joining no, the same line. You need to draw the same step only we are, we are going to follow. So drawing one arc, the same arc, then measure it, then cut it, then join this. The similar triangle is ready. Okay. And here the rough diagram you need to check whether it is proper or improper. Here proper fraction. So the dash symbol comes inside. Otherwise the dash symbol comes outside. So in the next class we will learn about how to draw the similar triangles for improper fraction. Up number biggest and down number smallest. No, that improper fraction we can learn and uh, one homework problem. Homework problem exercise 4.1. 11th question you can do as homework. Okay students only one homework and the next class. There also one homework will be. So have you and uh, have you got the point for similar triangles? Once again shall we recall similar triangles means which are in same shape but proportional sizes. The different sizes. So here construction of similar triangles. Fourth chapter. Theory practical geometry. This is the first question. Okay. First rough diagram. Uh, simply one triangle and mark the whatever letter is given now here. That letter you need to mention. P, Q, R. Okay. Here down you need to write the scale factor. 3 by 5 or 4 by 5 or 2 by 5. Whatever given in the question you need to write that also. After that check the number. His proper fraction. Uh, because up number small only. So the dash symbol will come inside. You need to draw one line. Don't draw the line like this, like this. Okay. Uh, the slanting line. Here the slanting. No. The same shape here you need to get. The slanting line you need to draw. So that is P dash Q dash. After that first equilateral triangle 6 cm. Um, why I am saying you need to draw an equilateral triangle means after draw, finishing your work you can check easily here 60 degree means here also 60 degree that's why I am saying okay otherwise you can draw simply one triangle also that's correct here for um, similar triangles there is only approximate measure only there is no accurate measurement but the number of arc is accurate you need to select this number and joining arc is also based on this number we will select but other than this every measurement or approximate only so as per your wish you can select selecting acute angle that also your wish you can select 45 degree or 30 degree or 50 degree also you, you can select but it should not exceed 90 degree it should below 90 degree 0 to whatever the angle may be in between the 0 and uh, 90 degree. Sometimes if you select the small angle, the line comes closer to the triangle. That's why I am saying you can select 45 degree. The diagrams looks neat. That is the concept. Okay. So it is not compulsory. You should select 45 degree. No. Okay. You can select any one acute angle. While writing the construction also, you can write, uh, draw an acute angle like this. Okay, students. Okay, first one, the... Okay, students, you got the point now. So, you should, today itself, you need to complete this in your geometry note. Please write all the wordings and drawing itself, everything in 
pencil using pencil you need to draw as well as the writing work also you need to write using pencil okay two problems over and one homework problem in the next page itself here uh, question then construction here rough diagram fair diagram that's why you can you need to draw okay in the next class you we will learn how to draw the similar triangle for improper fraction the upper number should be biggest no down number should be small that method also the next class we will see and before that be clear in the similar triangle of drawing proper fraction okay students okay let's move